Here's adventure. Here's romance. Here's the famous Robin Hood of the Old West. Cisco, he shaves, he is getting closer. This way, Pancho, Pomelo. The Cisco Kid. Now to tonight's exciting story of the Cisco Kid. People used to call Quirt Willis the meanest man in Arizona, but not to his face, because Quirt was greased lightning with a six gun. He never drew first, and he never missed. That's why there were five notches on the handle of his 45, and the law couldn't touch him. But of course, Joe Martin didn't know about Quirt. Joe was just a kid passing through with a herd of cattle on the way to market. And since his boss planned to stay over in the town of Riverbend for an extra day, Joe was looking forward to a big time. Hey, mister. Huh? Where can a fella get some grub in this here town? Miss Corey sets a good table down at the hotel. Caught you two bits, though. Hey, that's a lot of money. I reckon it's worth it for once. It's a right lively place, ain't it? <laughs> you ought to see it on Saturday night. Must have been a couple hundred people on the streets last week. Had three shootings and more fist fights than you could count. Hey, looks like something's going on up the street now. Yeah, a lot of noise, but I can't see no action. Wonder if... Uh-uh. What's the matter? See that big hombre walking this way? The one we're all moving back to make room for? Yeah. Are you scared of him? Son, that's Quirt Willis. Quirt's been spoiling for trouble all week, and everybody knows it. Better move back and give him room. For what? It's a free country, ain't it? Reckon this walk's wide enough for the two of us. There ain't no walk wide enough for Quirt Willis when he's feeling mean. You better do what I tell you. Shucks, he can't be that tough. Listen, son, I'm telling you. If you want to keep our little... You're standing where I aim to walk, Ron. Plenty of room on the other side. Get out of my way or I'll stomp you. I don't stomp so easy. Run for the love of Pete, shut up and get out of his way. Nobody said nothing to you, Tolliver. But he don't know no better, Quirt. Maybe it's time he learned. I don't like little yellow pups yapping at me. Somebody ought to teach him some manners. Like that. <laughs> Why, you pig? Keep hand away from that gun, boy. He'll kill you. Shut up, Tolliver. If the kid wants to burn powder, it ain't your put in. How about it, punk? You're gonna pull in your horns and run back to Mama? Don't touch that gun, kid. He'll kill you before you get it out the holster. Now, look. This ain't nothing to throw lead about. I'll fight you with my fists. So you are, Yeller. You're carrying that smoke wagon for a watch charm, huh? You yellow belly little poor flesh here. You ain't got the nerve to set the gun going. I'll show you. Yep, kid, no! Sorry to shoot the gun out of your hand, Senor Clerk. But I do not like to see a grown man kill a muchacho. Hey, I ain't no muchacho. I'm going on 19. I can take care of myself. I apologize, Senor. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Cisco Kid, and this is my friend, Pancho. Buenos dias, senores. So, now the little argument is all over, and nobody is hurt. It's better this way, no? No, it ain't over. You asked for trouble, mister, and you're gonna... Grab it! Ah, pleasure, senor. Uh, Watch the easy boat, Cisco! We've got him down! Oh, and you... Close your eyes out there. Oh, no, this time, oh, my... Bravo, Cisco! And your feet, hombre. Hang up his side. Hang up his side. Quick, go on. Hang kill up. him. Uh, he staggers his coat. Now a good one. Uh, uh, enough, hombre. Yeah. Yeah. But I ain't gonna forget this. Next time I see you or that kid either, you better be ready. Because I'm gonna come a-smoking. <laughs> This piece of beefsteak in your eye, Kurt. Go easy with it. 
You sure are a mess. Looks like you've been tromped by a herd of longhorns. I picked up your gun, your hat, and a couple of other things you dropped. Uh, shut up. I guess you must have lost the rowel off one of your spurs, too, because I found it there. Huh? Yeah, here it is. Huh? Now, that ain't mine. My spurs ain't silver. Huh. Sure is fancy, ain't it? Guess it must have belonged to Cisco. Maybe I can trade it for a drink. Yeah, I'm going to get that hombre. I'm going to get him good. I'll learn him to mess with Quirt. What was that kid to? Well, the first thing we'd better do is get some folding money. We're mighty near broke. Seems like something ought to be done about that herd of steers the kid's taken to the railroad. Heard him say he was going to be alone with them tomorrow night so as the other waddies could come into town. Yeah. It ain't a bad idea. Kind of risky. But I wouldn't mind picking up a few steers and learning that punk who's who at the same time. <laughs> like killing two birds with the same stone, huh? Yeah. Uh, but it still don't take care of Cisco. If I could figure out how to... See. Let me see that rowl off in this spur. Yeah. Yeah. I think I got it. Tomorrow night, maybe we can kill three birds with one stone. Roll on, little doggies, roll on, roll on, roll on, little doggies, roll on. <laughs> Dead blame your old white faced hide. Ain't you got no more appreciation of good singing than that? Ain't got no ear for music. That's all it ails you. Sounds like we're getting company. Is this Colonel Kennedy's herd? Yeah. Yeah, who are you looking for? I guess you're the one we're looking for, kid. You remember me? Yeah. You're Quirt Willis. That's right. And this here's Barney Bog. Hiya. What do you want? Nothing much. Got to thinking I'd made a plum fool of myself yesterday and rode out here to tell you I'm right sorry. Oh, well, that's, that's mighty wide of you, Mr. Willis. I don't like holding grudges myself. You all alone here? Yeah, yeah. The other boys won't be back till morning. Say, I'm glad you fellas dropped by. I... It was getting lonesome. You won't be lonesome no more, kid. I brung you some. You did what? This. Hey, that whining little punk. Come on, Barney. Let's get those steers moving. Well, how about that spur roll? I got it. We'll leave it right here beside the body. And let that Cisco kid try to talk his way out of it. Let's go. It's a fine day, no? For you and your pal here, it ain't so good, Cisco. Hand over your guns, both of you. I look like we're in the troubles again, Cisco. We have done nothing, Pancho. Give the sheriff your gun. Uh... Yeah. Never mind, senor. Ah, what is the trouble? Are we under arrest for fighting? Guess you know, all right, but just to make it official, I'm taking you in for cattle rustling and murder. Sheriff, why do you not arrest the right hombre sometime? I got the right man this time. <laughs> Ever see this before, Cisco? Oh, see, si. It's the arrow from my right spur. I wonder where I lost it. I'll tell you where. I found it beside the body of Joe Martin out by the forks where them cattle was laid up. Somebody has killed that boy? You ought to know. What'd you do with them cattle? Sure, we got no cattle. Search us and see. Get to Pancho. Huh? This is serious. You bet it's serious. I'll find when you hide them steers, and in the meantime, you boys cool off in the lockup. Josh, you are a good cook, Sheriff. Mm-hmm. I'm not yet eat my supper. Sheriff, I give you my word. We had nothing to do with this. Your word's worth a lot, ain't it? 
What else did you hone in on that fight with young Martin at Quirt Willis for if it wasn't to make friends with the kid and get information about them steers from him? Quirt, he would have killed a Nino, Sheriff. And you two wanted to do it yourself, huh? Hmm? Even if you can prove you didn't kill him, everybody in town thinks you did. And the calaboose is the only safe place to keep you. Come on, now. Folks is pretty mad about shooting a young boy like that. I'm going to have my hands full tonight preventing the lynching. I'm telling you men for the last time, go on home peaceful now. We want them killers. Yeah, oh, give us the keys to that jailhouse. We'll do the rest. Hey, Ain't nobody getting these keys. And nobody's going inside that jail. I got the Cisco kid and that Pancho fella locked up safe and sound, and they're going to stay that way. We ain't got nothing again, you, Sheriff, but I'm warning you. Get away from that door. I'm warning you, Slim Tolliver. Quit stirring up trouble and go on home. These men is going to get a fair trial. They don't deserve no trial. We'll give them a trial. We'll use them to trim a tree. We'll get these men over my dead body. If we have to, that's the way we'll do it. Who throws that rock? I'm warning you now, if I have to shoot, I will. Quit throwing them rocks or somebody's going to get hurt. Come on, boys, rush him. Yeah. All right, you are smart. That rock got him. Come on. Break into the door. No, wait. I got a better idea. Let's burn the jailhouse and them in it. Yeah. Pile that dry brush over here by the walls. Bring them torches. Yeah, burn them out. Yeah. Cisco, don't you think he smelled the smoke? What they do out there? I cannot hear the sheriff anymore. Maybe he's dead. Uh, if we got the guns, maybe we could help him. Or maybe help ourselves is better yet. Pancho, there is smoke. If the sheriff not still there, why they not try to break in the door? I'm afraid I know why, Pancho. The smoke is getting thicker. Look! To the door, Cisco! The stairway on fire! They want to burn us alive. This jail is wood, old and dry. Uh-huh. We'll blaze like a prairie fire. Unlock the door! Unlock the door! There's no use, Pancho. Even if the door were open, we could not fire our way through that mob. Better the mob than burn to death. Yeah. <laughs> I'll lock the door! I'll lock the door! The stairway has collapsed. Let <laughs> the Pancho go to the hot place where he die. The hot place come to Pancho. Here, by the window, Pancho. At least we breathe another minute. Put your face close to the bars. They see us. They want to see us die. And it looks like they not got long to wait. It looks like this time, Cisco and Pancho have gotten into a situation from which there is no escape. But Cisco never gives up. And we'll find out what happens in just a moment when we bring you the thrilling climax of tonight's exciting story of The Cisco Kid. And now, back to The Cisco Kid. Kurt Willis needed money. He wanted revenge on young Joe Martin, who had defied him, and on Cisco, who had beaten him in defense of Joe. Kurt and his partner, Barney Borg, satisfied all three desires with one action. They murdered Joe, stole the cattle he was guarding, and left evidence which pointed to Cisco and Pancho as the culprits. An enraged mob has set fire to the jail, where Cisco and Pancho are the only prisoners, locked in a cell on the second floor. As the flames lick hungrily at the old wooden building, they almost give up hope. In the smoke-filled cell, they stand with faces pressed against the bars of the tiny window, avoiding the crackling flames and the stifling heat till the last second. You see, Cisco? Diablo and Loco tied to the hitching post down there. They look up at us and say, adios. Once we could get to them, <coughs> this <coughs> mob could never catch us. While you're wishing, Cisco, wish me a drink of water, too. Pancho, ah. something better than wishes. Come here to the bed. <coughs> you sleep at a time like this? Save your breath. This iron cut. You take one side, I take the other. So, we make the bed, huh? There is a chance. Uh, the window is wood. Uh, the iron bars are set in wood. We make a battering ram of this car, Pancho. Against the window frame. Now, 
harder, Pancho. Harder. He's beginning yeah. to break. Yeah. Once more. Ah. Ah. Cisco, it works. We free. Do not forget the mob, Pancho. But maybe they cannot see us through the smoke. I go through the window first. Wait for you below. Cisco, you all right? See, si, see. Si. Quick, Pancho. Squeeze through. Jump. Pancho, fat. In the window so thin. They've not seen us yet from the smoke. Now for the horses, run. Uh-huh. They're loose. There they go. Get them. Don't let them reach them horses. Uh, look at that. Up, Diablo. Ride for your life, Pancho. Ride. Roll up, go, go. This the place, Cisco? What does sign say? What does it say? What does it say? Huh? Cattle Buyers Association. See, yeah, but Pancho still not know why do you think those Russells come here to Kanya City? If they sell the cattle, it would have to be here. Uh-huh. Mesa Grande is too close to where they were stolen. Oh. Any place else is too far to drive the herd. Uh-huh. Oh, let us go in. we find out. Yes, gentlemen. What can I do for you? Some information, senor. I wish to learn if two men, two strangers, have sold a herd of perhaps 200 steers since Monday. You mean the law? The law? <laughs> it's very funny, the law. My <laughs> friend means it is odd that you should guess. We are very close to the law officers. Santo, see, too close sometimes. Well, I don't know why I shouldn't tell you. There was a couple of strangers drove a herd about that size in here all day before yesterday. What are these cattle? Could we see them? Nope. They were shipped out last night. Then the men, are they still in town? I got an idea they left, too. But if they ain't gone yet, most likely you'll find them at the Crystal Palace Saloon. Gracias, senor. We shall look for them. Madre mía, this Crystal Palace is one fine place. But, Cisco, how we know who we look for? You got an idea who steal the carrot and kill the niño? I have an idea, see. Si. But we look for anybody from the town of Riverbend. Oh, there's someone, Cisco. Oh, there's two of them. Where? Across the room. They head for the stairs at the end of the bar. Fort Willis and Barney Borg. This is what I hope. Quick, Pancho, we follow. We hurry before they go up the stairs. Maybe it's a back way out of here and we lose them. Just a minute, gents. Do not stand in the way, senor. We are in a hurry. Then slow down. Because you ain't going up them stairs. The room's up there is private. By the way, we explain later. I don't want no explaining. You ain't going up, that's all. No time for talk. Come on, Pacho. No, you don't. Go on, just go. I take care of this one. Bill, <laughs> Charlie. This way, Pacho. Look, you go. There they go. Stop there. You ain't stopping nobody. Pacho, through the window. Best fight, Pancho, we ever seen in a long time. Someday, maybe we go back and do it again, no? I would like the two of those men had not got away. Then the fight would be worthwhile. Mm, we find them again, amigo. Maybe the cabin where we go now, huh? Maybe. They've used it as a hideout before, I know. Huh? If that is where they're heading now, perhaps we overtake them. Cisco, you a prophet. Look, up ahead, from behind those rocks, come smoke. You are right. They stopped to make a camp. We have got them. Park them. Go, 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 go. We are very close to them. Quieto, Pancho. Quieto, quieto. Reach, let's go. We got you covered. The sheriff. Bear them all. Hey, we catch the party. Come, Pancho. Come, Pancho. Ah. Go, go. we guess wrong about where they go for the hideout. Let us not give up too quickly. Huh? Maybe they come here yet. We wait and see. But maybe they pass a pick up our trail and follow us here and Pants not like to wear a rope necktie. The only way to prove we did not murder the boy and steal those cattle is to catch the men who did. We wait. Mm, can't you hope they not take too long? <laughs> He's a good fireplace here. <laughs> How'd you like your pancho cook something to eat? <laughs> Build a fire and huh? warn them we are here? 
Where there is fire, there is smoke. Uh, Cisco, put your hand here in the bottom of the fireplace. It's warm, it's warm. Go ahead. Warm? Uh, it's warm, it's warm. No, oh, it is. Mm-hmm. We are not too early, Pancho. We are too late. Huh? Court and Bonnie have been here and gone. What we do now? What we do? We find them. We keep hunting till we do. You won't have to look for that. Eh? Oh, oh, them, guns. You wouldn't have a chance. We were expecting you, Sayer Court. And you, Barney. Yeah, and we wouldn't disappoint you for nothing in the world. Yeah, come on, Quirk. Plug him and let's get out of here. No, I want to take plenty of time and enjoy myself. Get the guns, Barney. Yeah. So, the big tough hombre. The great Quirk Willis, who claims to be the best gunfighter in Arizona. He's afraid to shoot it out. See, si, amigo. Be brave like a maverick cop what loses his mama. I just ain't taking no chances. I've seen your tricks before, Cisco. Hey, Quirk, let me plug the fat one, will you? I never did like his looks. If Pouncer got a horse with a face like yours, hombre, I sell him for glue. Yeah, well, yeah. maybe your face needs a little working over. Sit, Barney. Cut it out. We're going to do this my way. Ah, uh, you want all the fun yourself. You'll have a good time. Don't worry none. Now you two back up to that wall. All right. You're going to shoot. Go on. Get it over with. Well, since you want it that way. Hey, you missed. Ain't that too bad? Wonder how I come to do that. Maybe we would both ought to practice, Pony. Yeah, I get you. That's a good idea. You must have missed him by two inches. Let me see if I can come any closer to Fatty there. I need my ear. You yellow hyenas. Why do you not kill us? If you think we will beg to live, you wouldn't do you no good if you're dead. But maybe we had better finish you off. That wall might look kind of funny if anybody was to come here later on. Oh, Cord, I was just beginning to like this. Yeah, but we can't take no chances. All right, Cisco, you're going to get your wish. Bonnie, you take the other one. Yeah. And we'll let them both have it right between the eyes. Listen, someone come. Hold on, Bonnie. See who it is. Huh? The posse. They follow us here. Never did Pancho think he'd be glad to have a party catch up with him. But this sheriff, I think I kiss. You're right, Kurt. It is the sheriff. Right out around the house, man. I'm going inside. Hurry, sheriff. We're waiting for you. What are we going to do, Kurt? Shut it out? Don't be a fool. Let me do the talk. <laughs> Come on in, sheriff. It's all right. This is Kurt Willis. Well, Sam, hell is this all about? What are you and Barney doing here, Kurt? We caught them murderers for you, sheriff. Barney, give the sheriff the gun. Sheriff, these are the men you want. See, sheriff, they killed Joe Martin. They steal the coffers, and we find them for Joe. <laughs> what kind of crazy story is that? You think the sheriff's gone plumb loco? Sounds like they're loco themselves, Quid. I want to thank you and Barney for rounding up these critters. Yes, you saved us a lot of trouble. Sheriff, they were going to kill us, so we could not tell you. Look at Pancho's ears. See, and when Pancho get his hands on that horse face one... I twist off his ear. How about that, Barney? We well, sure, Sheriff. We had to do a little gunslinging. Wasn't easy to corral these outlaws, you know. Yeah, I guess you're right. Colonel Kennedy offered a pretty nice reward for these rustlers. Looks like you and Quirt can split it. Glad to help out, Sheriff, but we can use the dinero all right enough. And I'll see that you get it. Come on, you two. Reckon we'll have to find a new jail for you. But, Sherry, Pancho tried to tell you that you got You it. ain't telling me nothing. Get moving. Mm-hmm. Very well. But first, for Senor Quirt, I have this. <laughs> oh, you dirty maverick. You ain't gonna live to be strung up. Stop that gun, Quirt. You ain't shooting no prisoner of mine. You hit me when I wasn't looking. I'll put windows in the skull. I told you to drop that gun. Go on, Sherry, shoot him. The other one, too. I'm running this party, and there ain't gonna be no powder burning. I don't need no shooting iron. I'll beat him to death with my fists. As you did the last time, hombre? Yeah, if it wasn't for the sheriff here, I'd learn you how lucky you was that time. Maybe the sheriff will give you that chance. Uh, what do you say, senor sheriff? Don't see no harm in it if you both want it that way. Well, I... You, I... Where's the big talk now, eh? You going to let everyone know how yellow you are? Or will you fight? You bet I'll fight. Who killed Joe Martin? You did, you murderer. Keep back there, Barney. You do, Pancho. This is going to be a fair fight. Who rustled those cattle? You and that. Come on, get up for it. Let him have it. You dirty. Go away. Who killed Joe Martin? 
You did get it. Who killed Joe Martin? I'll cut your heart out. Mr. Lookout, throw that knife away, Quirk. Drop it, Omega. Drop it. Quit. Quit. Drop it. Uh, who killed Joe Martin? You, you. Uh, uh, you want more, or will you tell the truth? Sir. I'm keeping out of this. It's getting plum interesting. Will you talk? Yeah. Yeah. We done it. Me and Barney. Come back here, Barney. Unless you want me to start throwing lead after you. You shot the boy, left the route from my spur beside his body. Then took the stairs to Canyon City and sold them, did you not? Yeah, I, yeah. Did you see, Sheriff? Always you arrest the wrong hombre. Looks like maybe you're right, Pancho. Sheriff, you ain't going to believe that, are you? Quirk would have sworn anything. Anybody could see that. It will be easy to prove, Senor Sheriff. Senor Anderson of the Cattle Buyers Association in Canyon City will identify these two as the ones from whom he bought the steers last Tuesday. That ought to be convincing evidence, I reckon. Yeah. What in blades have been going on in here? Sounded like the shack was getting tore apart. But near was, Slim. You and the boys missed the dad brainless fight you ever seen. Huh? You better take the prisoners outside. Sure. Come on, Cisco. You and Pancho won't get away this time. Ain't them, Slim. Quirt and Barney is our men. Well, I'll be done. Someday, senor, you ought to run for sheriff yourself. How come? You learned the system so fast. Always you arrest the wrong hombre. Oh, Pancho. Oh, Cisco. <laughs> <laughs> And so ends another thrilling adventure with O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the West, the Cisco Kid. to listen again for another thrilling adventure of The Cisco Kid. Cisco Kid was played by Jack Mather. Poncho by Harry Lang.